All right, guys. It's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. Coming back at you with another Starfield ship build. This week, we're going to go over the Venom's Edge. And for those of you who have been keeping up with my videos, this is definitely a variation of the Razor's Edge. It's a little slender, a little more slimmer, a little more sleek. I figured out a way to tuck all of the uh, goodies underneath the hood of the, uh, the ship's profile. I was able to uh, kind of uh, make it to where there's no sort of real uh, snapping techniques that you need so that, uh, you know, anybody who does it, who wants to do a, a pretty much a vanilla build can do this. There's no mods necessary to make this ship. The parts list is really simple. So all of our console uh, players can make this ship for themselves, no problem. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot like the Razor's Edge, but a little slimmer, a little more, uh, a little more dark, and a little more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, it's it's a lot more uh, spooky. That's why I kind of went with the uh, the Venom's Edge rather than the Razor's Edge. Um, so it is a good looking ship, fantastic stats, and uh, the layout uh, just like the. Uh, the Razor's Edge is really, really nice. So we'll go in and take a real quick look at the uh, layout so that you guys can see it for yourselves. Um, and then we'll go in to the uh, ship builder and we'll go over how to build this. It's a fairly simple build once you know how to do it. So we'll come up here into a companion way and that will take us up, but we will go forward through this computer banks so that we can buff our crew. And then if we go here to the starboard side, we have ourselves a uh, infirmary, and then I have another co computer core up here to buff my crew. You can put whatever you want there, um, but we can go starboard side on the uh, crew deck, or what I call like the working deck, have a workshop here, and then forward that, we have ourselves an armory. So this ship has everything you could possibly want on it. Um, all your workbenches and a really great living space, uh, just like the Razor's Edge. This has got that same layout. It's a fantastic layout uh, with the way the cockpit and the docker uh, leave the doors here. This is a Stroud Eklund living quarters. Uh, this is a Stroud Eklund captain's quarters. And just the way the doors line up, there's this is like the perfect place to just live. Your crew hangs out. And then to this is side, the starboard side, is of course the crew quarters. They have plenty of sleep, sleeping quarters, a bathroom, a storage. And then forward to that, we have of course a uh, storage room. Hey, how you doing, Betty? That's my girl, Betty. And then this goes up and into the Stroud Eklund Viking cockpit and has a wonderful view out of it. You can see uh, all the little stuff that sort of sticks out in front of the ships. Very fun ship to fly. Very fun ship. Uh, to uh, engage in combat in and if I may say so it looks absolutely just amazing it just crushes it in the looks department so uh, we will head over and into the uh, ship builder and uh, we'll show you how to build the ship for your guys uh, for yourselves guys and uh, that's that so we'll see you in the ship builder All right, guys, we are back in the shipbuilder, and I have the Venom's Edge pulled apart here down to its uh, kind of its base components. And uh, you can see the basic layout that you will need uh, to get this ship started. So you're going to have uh, uh, five uh, three by, or two by ones that are arranged just like this in this pattern. And then you're going to have two Hope Tech Hab spines that go between. You could alternatively use the uh, companion ways here, but uh, I want fewer doors, so um, that's the way it goes. And then, of course, I have two Nova cross passages like you see right here, um, and this is how you will arrange them just like so. And then, of course, you will have your bay, which is a uh, 120LD landing bay from Demos, um, and it will connect to the back part uh, of this hab. I recommend using this as a computer banks or a workshop if that's your prerogative, if you want to be able to get to that quicker. Um, but that's how you will lay it out. And then you will put your 
uh, grav drive, which I have the SGD3300 grav drive, and it is snapped right here. And then you will put your reactor. I have the Pinch 8Z reactor, and it is snapped right there, just in front of those cross halves. Um, and on the bottom, you will have uh, quite a few gear. You will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the Aculander 11s from Stroud Eklund. And they will take up uh, most of the bottom of the ship. Um, and then you will have a uh, top floor. Um, where your cockpit is at, I have the Viking CP uh, 220 cockpit and it is attached to a companionway, which then goes into a Stroud living quarters, which is got a berth to the starboard side and has a captain's quarters uh, to the port side. And then I have put two uh, little equipment plates up here. We're going to need those later. Um, and then I have a Stroud Eklund companionway. And you will uh, snap that just over the top uh, of your Stroud Eklund control station. And then you will take and put your 100 DP Slim Docker right on top of that companionway. The way we reason we do it this way is so we can control where all the doors are. Um, for those who don't know, the formula for calculating ladders and doors is this. It is from the bay to the cockpit seat will be the first path that the game calculates. Um, and then it will calculate a secondary path from the pilot seat to the docker. So for those who don't know, this is a piece of uh, building a secret that you can use, is try to always put your docker and your bay on the same path. That way you can control kind of where the ladders and the doors go. Because the way it works, after those two paths are calculated, it will calculate a path from the cockpit seat to the nearest tab that does not follow either one uh, of those paths. And it will not use the same uh, snap point door uh, on the same uh, section of the hab that's not along that path. So in this case, I have two uh, habs that have no pathing involved with uh, the docker or the bay. So with the way the two by ones, there's only two snap points. So it calculated the starboard one first. So it will use this door right here, but it won't use this door for this one. Because if there is a door available opposite of that, it will use that instead to the nearest tab. So that is how you get a door here and a door here on this build. Because it calculates it from the seat to the hab. And then we'll calculate the next path to the near next nearest hab. But it will try not to use a door on uh, the same section of the, uh, of the, of the hab. So it will put a door here and it will put a door here. Um, I can't tell you how it prioritizes HABs. Um, it just, I think it's starboard to port side. So if you're facing back, it's left to right. If you're facing forward, it's right to left. Uh, that's why we use starboard and port. Um, but that is a little secret. That's how I can control where my doors are is it's bay to pilot seat pilot seat to docker and pilot to the nearest pilot seat to the nearest hab if it does not follow those two paths and that's how you can control uh, where your doors are uh, to a degree and ladders as well so moving right along um, we have a bunch of cargo we have uh, six of these uh, sex 30t hauler cargo holds from sextant systems and uh, they will go just like you see here, they will fit right in front of your grav drive and reactor, um, and they create this really sort of cool uh, silhouette, almost like a, like the hood of a cobra, which is sort of why I liked uh, the term, the Venom's Edge. And then we will have some of these DeGamma 1000 uh, cargo holds that will go, I believe, just like so. Um, uh, in front of that one cargo hold and then we will take these other ones and we will squeeze them just above uh, our 
bay up against that control station you see there, just like you see here. And that creates a nice, nice silhouette up under the ship uh, as you approach. It makes it look really cool when you come in. And of course, we do have uh, two gas tanks. They will go directly, I believe, right in front of those like you see there. Ta-da! And then we've got some Stroud Eklund cowling that's going to go out of the front like you see here. The uh, Stroud Cap A's flipped over. Um, and then we have some uh, Nova cowling. The uh, Nova cowling 2L. And then we have a couple of Demos wings. You could probably put what you want here. I was just kind of looking for something uh, to add weapon mounts so that if you guys wanted to use different weapons from the ones that I use, um, that there's plenty of places for you to mount them. But they will go just like you see here. The uh, cowling and then the Demos wings with that. And there you go. Um, so then we'll go over here. We have a pretty simple setup along the side of the ship. We have a bunch of the Stroud Cap A's, cowlings, 1L, 3LA, uh, just like you see here. And it's going to go just over the top, just like you see, creating that really, really nice silhouette. And it is mirrored over here on the starboard side. So there is that and uh, we can start throwing on our engines these are of course sal 6830s and have one that goes up under the stroud cowling there and then you're going to have another that goes just like you see here snapping to the back of your habs and uh, i have a couple of demos bellies that go underneath it to to, to, to to take away the ugly just like we have here we got some windows that go just like so and a, a nose tech B from Hope Tech. Um, and I do have a Assurance SG-1800 shield generator. It goes right in front of your docker. You could put whatever shield generator you want there uh, if you don't have the Assurance available. And then my weapons array is my typical PBO-300 Alpha turrets and the Disruptor 3340 Alpha turrets from Horizon Defense. And they go there. And we do have uh, some sort of outward arms that consists of Nova cowling, three pieces that attach to the SAL uh, engines you see there. And they snap right on the side, kind of cover up your Hope Tech hab spine like you see there. And uh, it is mirrored on this side as well. And that, my friends, is how you make the Venom's Edge up. Oh, I do have these. This is, of course, the one place. Uh, you can put them just like this if you want. Uh, and it looks great. Completely vanilla. And it looks just fantastic like that. Uh, but I, if you want to do like I did, you can, uh, you can duplicate this uh, Demos Bumper, Demos Bumper 4. And you can duplicate it and then turn it into the long version of it, and it'll go back into the uh, cargo hold and uh, really won't clip into anything important. Uh, so that's why I did it. But you absolutely do not need to do that if you want to make this a perfectly uh, vanilla build. And then, of course, we do have room for uh, some, some decorative pieces. I went ahead and deleted them, but mostly it is... Uh, I will put some... Nova thruster arrays uh, on this outward facing cowling and then I'll put another one up here up on the Stroud cowling like you see just like this and then there and then you can add additional windows if you want there is a little bit of weight a little bit of flexibility with the weight on this ship um, like you see here, we can have multiple windows, but we are getting close because the max, of course, is 4275 on a ship like this. So we have about two mass that we can uh, fiddle around with. We'll, we'll add another uh, thruster out here, and then we'll throw another one here, and we'll be at maximum weight. 4275, the stats on it are really great. 1571 hull, 1600 shield, 7120 base cargo, 
nine crew, even though you can't have nine crew, but it has a max jump range, max mobility, and max speed. So you can uh, add more cargo if you don't really care about the mobility. You can reduce the uh, re the weight and add some Class A engines if you really want to make this a speed demon. Um, there's more than, uh, more than a million ways to customize uh, the Venom's Edge, uh, just like the Razor's Edge. It's quite my favorite ship build, with the exception of my Imperator. But uh, yeah, this is the Venom Edge, Venom's Edge, guys. As usual, I will leave a parts list in the comments, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like it, subscribe, and comment down below, and we will see you next time on the Gamers Group.